Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we have a special show where we're going to be tasting, for the first time, Maker's Mark, their new uh, wood finishing series, BEP, which is the last of this series as it closes out. My name is Steve Akeley. I've got Darren McCroy here, Sean Bequette, and Evan Van Skoik, and we're at the ABV Barrel Shop Tasting Bar. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Hey. So... It's the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat going on here at the Tasting Bar right now. The, the new list just came out of the Rank the Regulars. Sean's happy because he, he made the list. He made the list. The other two guys are angry. and it, Right? Uh, yeah. I, completely outraged. Outraged, yes. I was only here four times last week. and that Four times, yeah. That's not, so, yeah. Now, it is a month-long thing. Where do you feel like you're, you, you, were, you lived up to the... In the last month, you've been. At that I've been episode. bringing people. I've been okay, okay, month long. I here at least once a week. Okay, all right. I've heard Evans. He's and after the fact, he's been a very compelling case that he might have had his best best month in the history of us doing this. For sure, my best month. <laughs> I've been here every. Well, single Well, you week. owned number one spot for a long time, so that was yeah, you, right. you were number one before Pam Hoyle. Uh, yeah, and then your first like official ranking, you put me like six to right. kind of like right. kick me in the ass. And, and the, you've you've it, it worked because you've definitely yeah. been coming. And in I have been regularly. three bring on stuff. every ranking. Yeah, I, I bring stuff all the time. We had fun. And in fact, on my birthday, which yeah. occurred, which occurred during, during this, this month, this tabulation, I brought in George T. Stag, which you know happens to be Steve Akeley's favorite bourbon of in all the time. entire world, <laughs> of all time. Um, and oh my I, God, this, is egregious. this is egregious. This is egregious. Have fallen from third place to not even on the top ten. Oh, man, man! I will say everyone on the top ten deserves their spot, oh, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. just would like to be number eleven. You know? I would say it's impossible because I'm not on the list. So there is clearly one person who does not deserve well, who, to be there. Who would you kick off? Uh, I went to City Hall for yeah, you. That's yeah, all I'm yeah saying. this is true. Sean was at City Hall. Yeah. I mean, we can start at the bottom and just start naming people. I, I mean, I do appreciate that you've told the story of Avery driving yes. from Ohio every single week. Yes, correct. Um, and that's ending, so we thought if he's ever going to make it, he has to go on this one, because next time he, he won't have been here. And we thought, you know, a, a dedication of coming in from Ohio, we thought, eh, he's got to so, make it at least one So a sympathy life. pick is out there. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, nine, Sean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> But somebody's got to not make it. <laughs> so it'd be Sean? Or, or, or next up is Kathy. Um, you can't take and, Kathy off. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. There's okay. been plenty of times I have eliminated Kathy from things. And uh, you third, eliminated her from uh, being yeah. a, a super fan the first year. She's in it now, but she yeah, right. you kicked her out the first so year. So I have no problem eliminating right, Kathy right, if necessary. That, that happens. What uh, about Tony? Tony missed a week. Tony missed a week. He missed a week. I did not. You did not miss a week. So you think Tony? Sorry, Tony. You'd also be bumped okay. by me. All right. Steinkamp? Uh, he hasn't missed a week. He's in. He's good okay. for, on average, at least two times a week, I'd say. All right. Um, so, I mean, that's that's probably fair. You can kick Kyle off of anything. Kyle? <laughs> Just because you want to kick Kyle, I guess. Yeah. But he, he's, he's good for two a week, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Kristen Wall has been, like, 
three times a week average. And high energy and high well, octane. Yeah. Well, so is, I mean, is pure quantity over quality? No, no, it's quality too, but he just said high octane. She's fun when she gets here. You right. can shit so, on people. You know, maybe, maybe not the top four okay. are going to adjust. So I could see you bumping me from three to maybe five or six. <laughs> George C. Stag, I'm with you, man. <laughs> Thank you. I Even Sean, that, Sean. Sean is acknowledging who made it here that uh, maybe Evan should have gone on instead of him. These are not scientific. That's the problem. We don't keep notes, and sometimes we forget. We're doing the best we can. We are old. I mean, we're doing the best we can. So, yeah, and, stuff happens. In fact, I'd almost say most of us have been here more than Jim recently. This is true. Jim <laughs> has been a part timer. So, but he, he he will say in his defense he's working. Now I have to assume he's not lying. I assume that he's being truthful. He goes home and he's working on stuff, building it at his home shop, and then he's going to bring it in here just so we don't have all the mess. We had, yeah, okay. we didn't care about the mess when we were doing this place. It was just sawdust. He, he built everything in here. Here he's trying to build everything at home and then just assemble it here. So uh, I, I Now, he may just be screwing off. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> he tells me he's leaving to go work. And, and today he's running around picking up Facebook Marketplace stuff. So he, he's... Actually picking up the last thing right now, and then I'll be heading in here. So, yeah. So that's the story on Jim. But, yeah. He, he, Fair. You may be right that, uh, yeah, he, he still may be just screwing up. He's like, well, i got to go work on stuff. What do I know then? I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> yes, of course. I'll work till eight then by myself. Yeah, you got to go work. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. There's the, the rankings. Uh, luckily, it'll be short rankings because we didn't get to them till what is today's day? We're supposed to get to them the first week in April. We... 13th. The 13th. 13th. So yeah, we'll we'll do it the first week in May. So these won't last long. We'll we'll get that updated soon. So the reign of terror of the folks that are up there now will, will not be long lasting. So we'll see. Hopefully Evan has made the case, and Evan will probably have a shitty month now, but then make it because of uh, the previous month. It's almost like uh, you'll a be the pity pick for yeah. next month. It's Look. like I sell books on Amazon, but I don't get paid for what I sold this past month. I get paid for what I got sold two months ago. So yeah. If you have a good Christmas, you think, well, January's going to be awesome. It's not. It's uh, You have a good March. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, the, the way you rank people based on their past performance means I should be doing something different. So I should not bring in, you know, special bottles. Um, oh, God. I'm just saying you gotta you gotta be careful as as how you motivate your uh, customer. Yeah, base. but you didn't know the rankings today. What did you bring in today? Uh, Calumet Farm. I brought, yeah, I brought in some fun stuff. Calumet and uh, Iron Root and uh, Traverse City. Traverse. They were all great. I mean, yeah. Calumet was a little weak, but 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 now that I've seen the rankings, next week yeah. might be uh, Malort. You're gonna find a bottle of Malort. I, I, I may just try to bring the worst okay. things I could. Okay. Evan did initially try to make the point that it was his best spending month. He spent, bought like four bottles or something. But we did have to disqualify that because while that is certainly important to the livelihood of the business. We don't want to rank people in that way. We, we rank them based on visits and fun they bring here. So that's yeah. that's always rank the regulars is based on that. So you're not looking at who's the heavy spender up there. It's just who's who's hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I might have to bring them like pizza or something yeah. next week. That could be. Could be. Glue butter cake. Yeah. Well, and that always gets away to his heart. <laughs> yeah, it yes. seems we, like we put a cake is gooey butter cake. Butter cake. start, yeah. <laughs> What we'll do next, we're gonna we're not gonna toast like we normally do because we have a whiskey that we're gonna be trying today for the first time. It is Maker's Mark B E P, the last of their wood uh, finishing series. We'll get to tasting this in just a bit. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We will also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. 
If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Danny, though, you are between Jim and Victory. What do you got? I have uh, an Indiana. <laughs> right? Sure, Danny. <laughs> Cumble Dice? <laughs> Cumble Dice, yes. I love Cumble Dice. <laughs> I'm sure that's the name of the brand, Cumble Dice. Sure. sure. Cumble Dice. The... Oh, Tumble Dice. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's, let's Freddie Mills of Roos. Okay. Freddie Mills of Roos. So we're about to pop it. No, that was all. That was all desk, is what that was. <laughs> all desk, no pop. Jim wins. So, Jim, you got it there, man. Hey. Congrats, Jim. Cheers, gang. Cheers. Oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Steve Akeley. I'm joined here by Darren McRoy, uh, Sean Bequette, and Evan Van Skoik, and we are drinking uh, Maker's Mark BEP. So let's pick this one up, guys. It's been poured for you during the break. And uh, what do you what do you think on the nose there? I mean, it's pleasant on the nose. I mean, yeah, it's just nice. It's it's nice. Yeah, I mean, this is and this has been. Have you guys liked the wood finishing series? Yes, I. It was the wood finishing series from Makers was the first weeded bourbon. I was like, oh, that's drinkable that okay. I've had before. So okay, I've had the stave, the private selection stave ones. I haven't had the uh, wood finishing the oh really you haven't ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the well, I mean, I, I think they're 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 been really fun and exciting. And are they some better than others? Absolutely. But that's part of the fun of a series like yeah. this when you're trying out different things. They can't all be. This is a grand slam, and then the next one's a, a grand slam that went further, and the next one after that's a grand slam. That, so so yeah, I think that uh, it, it's been a really great series, and uh, we'll be interested. To see. Have you uh, tried these, Sean, along the way? Uh, I've sampled a few. And, okay, you know, right. they're pretty good. All right. Well, this ends, uh, and again, I'm not exactly sure why it, it's ending. I don't know if it just was going to come to that uh, conclusion anyway this year, uh, or if they were just done with it, or the fact that, you know, Jane Bowie was kind of heading this thing up, and she's obviously not with the organization anymore. I'm not exactly sure what plays into that, but I know that it was always a collaboration between Jane Bowie and our friend, uh, our friend Andrew Wiebrink uh, from Independent Stave. So this is a, a thing that Makers and Independent Stave has worked on for years. Uh, it's always been, for, I, I think, always been above average to incredibly stellar. So let's see what this one is. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 All right, here we go. It's so soft and nice all throughout that. There's nothing offensive about it. It's that. nice. No holes in the palate. It kind of sticks with you, too. I think this is, is it 90 proof? Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, yeah, 109.1 proof. Okay. It, uh, <laughs> it's it got some staying power yeah. uh, with it for sure. But it doesn't burn like 109. No, no, it doesn't burn. Just smooth, easy drinking. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, still there. Still there? Still hanging out? I mean. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Toasty. Vanillas. Toasty for sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's pleasant. Sean, what do you think here? 
So this would be a great fragrance for your house. So okay, <laughs> just put some out. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So you're but saying it, pour the bottle out around your house? house? You're not like, drink no, it at all? No, just leave a little glass like, <laughs> next to my desk at work. Uh -huh. and, you know, oh, sure. I'm sure work will go for that. They'll be like, oh, it's just for, for the scent in the room. Yeah, it's, yeah. Sean's drinking and saying, like, isn't that lower? And you're like, well, evaporation. Yeah. <laughs> it's it science. It's an aromatic. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> work gets done. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> I think it's good if you see it on the shelves. And these things are, what's fun about this series, the, the wood finishing series, they're hard to find, but not impossible to find. You know, some of these uh, limited releases, you never really have a chance to even get. This one, again, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying you're going to be able to run out to the store and uh, and buy one. But you know what? If you if you look hard enough, I'm sure you'll be able to find it, at least if it mirrors what's been done in the past. So pretty excited about this one. On that note, we'll wrap this one up, as we always do, by talking about where people can find us. Darren, we're going to start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Facebook at Darren McRoy, or you can follow me on Instagram at The Bourbon Adventures. How's The Adventures coming along? Oh, great. I'm going to go to the Stumpies <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's good. Sean, right. how about you? Um, Sean Bequette on Facebook, or Sean W-A-T on Twitter. All right. Evan. Evan Van Skoik on Facebook, or at Wit. Wisdom Whiskey on Instagram. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. we also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, which there are well over 3,000 out there, uh, and much more can be found at abvnetwork.com. Please come by and see us. You can, might see folks like that are right here right now, one of which is on the list of uh, Rate the Regulars, uh, number nine ranked, <laughs> Sean Bequette. So uh, hang out with these guys. And maybe you can make the list. You never know. So check us out at abvbarrelshop.com. Get involved. Please give us a five-star review for the show. It helps new people find the show, especially if you include comments. That's always very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, get involved with the show over at patreon.com slash the ABV network. On that note, we'll uh, let you guys go. Take care. Go out and find this Maker's Mark. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world. Way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. <laughs>